All right, y'all. Hope everybody is doing okay lately. Hopefully you're doing better than okay and you're doing great. I just wanted to do a little video tonight and talk about this little gem I got today. I am a big hat guy. Uh, I always wear a hat when I go out in public. Well, I say always. 90% of the time, I usually have on some sort of, uh, probably my favorite ball cap type hat is a uh, Carhartt ball cap hat. And then that's followed closely by the second hat I wear a lot out in public is a, um, a Tilly, a Tilly hat. And I really do love the Tilly hats. I've been wearing them for quite a few years. And I will probably be doing a video on the Tilly here in the next few days as it's still my favorite hat but i've always liked boonie hats and by boonie hats i'm talking about the traditional jungle type boonies i'll drop in a couple of pictures here and so you can kind of see what uh what i'm talking about by a boonie hat today um i was looking for a new one so i went down to the army surplus store to check out some of the just the common boonie hats that have like the little military spec labels in them and whatnot and man i tell you what nowadays it must be hard to find a good quality boonie hat i, I it is for me it was today anyway my local army surplus store which used to have a, a lot of nice ones they have them of course but man the, the quality on them is just um uh, terrible even the main usa ones which usually you know you would anticipate armor surplus store made in usa quality to be a little bit better than um than the import stuff but yeah even the main usa ones i mean they have loose threads all over the place uh the sewing was crappy etc and i almost bought one of the usmc boonie hats for 24.99 and i passed on it at the last minute and I, I decided, well, I'm just going to hold off, see if I can find find one online. It just so happened I had to go by the 511 store just to look for some T-shirts. And, of course, they don't have big guy T-shirts in size, which I wear a 3X. And I saw that they had some boonie hats. So I checked it out there in the store. And, man, let me tell you, like most 511 stuff, they know how to make a quality product. But that's what we're looking at today. This is the 511 Boonie. And this one is TDU Green. Paid $24.99 for it in store, which was the same price as the one I was looking at the Army Surplus store. Plus, of course, you get a free, well, the cool 511 bags. I like to keep these bags around. I don't know why, but I use them for different stuff. But Hey, this is, uh, and again, I haven't worn this very much. I wore it home, but this is a great hat. I have one complaint about it, which I'll get to in a second, but I just want to show you guys some of the, the quality on this. Nice, even stitching. The web they use for this is nice webbing. Very nice screen grommets, and it looks like these are probably brass grommets, I hope, that have been plated. Take a look at the inside, the underside. See, it has a nice, um, like this is almost like a, it's not, it's not foam, it's cloth, but it's puffy, like there's a cushion inside of it in, in the, um, oh, what are the, what part do they call this in a hat? It's not the liner, it's not the brim. Um, the sweat brow, I think is what they call this in the hat, the, 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 the brow lining. Nice little label. Now I did go with the large, extra large, and let me just say this about my head size. I have a big head. It's hard for me to find a hat that fits. In normal boonie hats, traditional ones, I usually wear a seven and seven eighths, sometimes an eight. Now I can squeeze my head into a seven and three quarter, but usually the seven and three quarters are a little snug. Uh, the seven and five eighths are definitely too snug for me. This one fits me nice. 
It's not loose. It's not really loose, but it's not really tight. And I expect, like most of my hats, that it will stretch out a little bit over time, which might also alleviate the other problem that I'm going to get to. But first, let me show you some more of the inside of it. Now, the strap they use is a nice nylon strap, and this is a nice touch. They actually use a small spring toggle. And you'll notice it's the kind that has a hole for each strap. So that's really good. I mean, that holds it really taut. And at the end of it, they have a nice little touch with a little bead at the end of it. it. Seems to be sewn on very nicely. Inside of it, there's a hat pocket. I think they commonly call this a map pocket where you can stick something up in here. My Tillies usually have a piece of foam in here to give you a little bit of extra protection in case something hits you in the noggin. Has a nice liner inside of it that says, always be ready. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it's it's a well put together hat uh, for the price and I'm glad I didn't get the one at the Army Surplus store so I can try this. Um, of course, it is made in, I'm sure it's made in, yeah, it's made in China. I was going to guess China or Malaysia. They do have a care tag and a PO tag on it, which is common with QC. This is the kind of stuff that I, well, I do mostly hard lines, but this is the type of item that a customer would bring to me, and I, in turn, would find a, a manufacturer to make it for them. This is the kind of contracting type stuff that I do. But, um let me tell you uh, the one thing about it, and this might be something that corrects itself. Right now, it's not so much what I would call a boonie hat. I would call it a bucket hat. It's hard to see, but as you can look at this, the, the, the brim on it tapers downward like so. I mean, you can't even lay this flat without the brim wanting to, to pop up. Now, is that a big deal? No, not really. As a matter of fact, in all honesty, this type of hat will give you better protection because it's going to come down over your ears and the back of your neck versus a normal boonie hat. But usually, this is not a hat I would call a boonie hat. This is something that I would call a bucket hat, almost like a Gilligan hat, as my wife turned it to me. When she saw it, she cracked out laughing when I tried this on for today. She said, you look like Gilligan on it. And I'll cut to a, sh a shot here in a second to show this to you. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking though, everybody knows when you wear hats like this, over time they get looser, a little bit floppier, and maybe this will stretch out a little bit over time. If it doesn't, I mean, it's fine with me if it stays the way it is, but it is definitely more bucket style. Let me show you guys here. Be prepared for my ugly mug. So this is what it looks like. And my first instinct is to say, sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a faithful trip that started from this something port aboard this tiny ship. Get it? You guys, younger viewers probably won't get it, but some older guys will probably remember. It's a thing from Gilligan's Island and Gilligan wore uh, a Navy hat is the type of hat that he usually wore and he turned it down like this is. But usually, yeah, this is what I would call a bucket hat. And that's fine with me because like I said, it helps cover up your ears and hopefully I'm showing you the back of my neck. I'm trying to, it tapers down over the back of the neck. Whereas if this was sticking it flat, not quite as much protection. So I actually really like this, but over time, if it stretches out a little bit, um, no big deal if it becomes floppy like a usual uh, boonie hat. So, you know, and it's weird when I'm taping myself because I do the reverse video thing and I know I need to look at this, the camera, but oftentimes I find myself looking over here which is looking at myself, but I'm not looking at you. I need to look at y'all. You guys are my uh, viewers. So yeah, this is it. And again, like I said, I've got a big noggin. Normally I'm around seven and seven eighths, uh, seven and three quarters sometimes work. It depends on the cut. That's another thing I noticed about the cheap boonies today that I was trying on at the Army Surplus store. I could try a seven and three quarter on in one pattern and it would be huge, like a bucket, and then a seven three quarter on in another pattern, 
would be too small. It was like trying to put a peanut shell on a pumpkin on my head. So uh, this one though, so far, and I'll, I'll give a follow-up review. Yeah, maybe, who knows, but I'll continue to wear this for a, a year or so or something like that and let y'all know what I think. But if it's like most 5'11 stuff, uh, I have really good luck out of their pants, uh, their shirts, their, their polo shirts. I have a couple of their polo shirts. Uh, I, I love I love their stuff. It seems to be really well made, and it's not the tactical element that I like. I like it because it's comfortable, it's durable, uh, and it lasts a long time. You know, when you're, uh, I, I mean, it kills me to pay sixty five bucks for a pair of pants or something along that line. But a lot of times, you can catch their stuff on sale with ten, twenty percent off coupons sometimes, and also check some of your stores like Academy, uh, Dicks. I bought a pair of 511. They weren't Apex. It was the brand, the model pants before Apex. I can't remember what it was. $12 on clearance at Dick's. I'm like, hello. Even if it wasn't my size, I probably would have still bought it. But it happened to be my size, so it worked out good. Uh, but yeah, I do like this hat. And you can't tell me that it doesn't look good. Okay, maybe it doesn't look that good. But I can always wear it like this. You know. And seriously, that's... It's not a bad look, right? I'll have to show it to my wife and see what she thinks. But yeah, it's a good hat, y'all. One more thing I want to touch on real quick. I almost did a video on these by themselves, but I haven't. They have 511 masks now. Um, nothing real special about them. I did buy a couple of them and try them on. I do like it because they have it in a large size. Most masks are one size fits all. And again, I've got a big Naga and I've got a big head. I need a bigger mask. Usually, if you saw my Under Armour video, uh, that's one of the reasons I like that mask is because it's, it's size bigger. My wife will uh, make masks for me and she makes them bigger to kind of cup under my beard. But on these 511 masks, they, um, they work out pretty good. Let me show you one of these. And this is not turning into a mask video, but and it's just a nice, you know, thin little lightweight mask. They advertise it as being, let me see, lightweight polyester outer fabric, which everyone knows polyester is not the best filtration. SMS filtering middle layer, which is nice. Moisture wicking soft lining. But I like it because this is a large one and I can put this on my big noggin. And look, folks, it actually fits. Most of the times when I try to put on a, a one size fits most type mask, again, it looks like a, a peanut shell going onto a eggplant. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of tight on my face. But anyway, uh, again, not turning this to a mask video. And uh, you know, in a couple of my videos before, I advocated, suggested, calmly suggested, hey, wear a mask. It helps. Uh, you guys that have seen those videos, don't be ticked at me for that or something. That was before masks were a political statement. That was back. Those videos were shot when people wore masks because it was the smart thing to do. Uh, because they do, you know, they, any anything that covers up your mouth is going to give you some type of filtration to help catching something. But um, yeah, if you don't want to wear them, hey, more power to y'all. You know, that's that that's that's everybody's that's that's everybody's choice. But um, again, this video is about this little jewel, the 511 hat. I think I like it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you have any questions, please shoot them to me. I try to get back to all the comments if someone has a question on something. And as always, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all be safe out there. Talk to you soon.